here, and we all hear tips about spring cleaning the house or your closet. But what about your skincare routine? Shay Terry from Arizona Facial Plastics is here to help us refresh our routine, if you will, for the spring. All right, well, thank you for being here, Shay, for uh, talking about all of this great stuff. So before we get into the products that we have on the table, I just have to... Uh, geek out a little bit because I love you guys over at Arizona Thank Facial so Plastics. Much. I go yeah. there all the time, especially for a good Hydra Facial. Yes. So let's talk about why it's so important to clean out your products while, you know, we're going into spring. Right. Why is that important? Why is that necessary? Spring cleaning is there's there is for a reason. Right. We <laughs> always need to be refreshing things. Our skin, our product line. I don't know how many times people say, I have so much stuff at home, I don't even know what to use. So I remind them, go down to that graveyard underneath your sink <laughs> and find out what is expired. <laughs> um, a lot of times people even will set things out and put it all out in front on their counters and look at the expiration dates. They're even changing them up a little bit so that it says once you're open, it'll say 6M, 12M. Just gives you dates of how long you should keep that product once you've opened it up. Gotcha. I'm definitely one of those people that I'm guilty of getting a product and I think, oh, this is so nice. I don't want to use it all up at once, so I'll save it. And then unfortunately, it can expire and go bad. It does. What happens when our products do expire? I mean, why do we not want to use them? Well, they go inert. They just don't do what they did when they were supposed to start. And it's just not as, I mean, it's not as good for your skin. It's not giving you the, the umph that you need, especially if you're using good products because there's not a lot of filler or preservatives in them. So there's a shelf life that's shorter, but they're better for your skin. Gotcha. So use them. Consistency, feed your skin like you do everything else, and you get better results that way. Okay, I love that. Feed your skin. So you and I were talking just earlier about the hydrofacial. Yes. So I love a good hydrofacial, right. especially here in the desert. We're so dry. It's such an arid climate. Having that little bit of extra moisture is so, so good. So talk a little bit about what you guys do at Arizona Facial Plastics. Yeah, I mean, we are what we're, you know, we do everything from a hydrofacial all the way up to surgery with Dr. Tahiza Day. Um, what you love so much about that is two things. It exfoliates and it also cleanses your pores. And that during this time of year where we've had crazy weather change, it was raining so much a couple of weeks ago and now it's it was like almost 80 degrees yesterday. I know. So you need that exfoliation. You need to turn that skin over and clean out the pores with all the wind and dust. We're going to be all clogged up and it's time to refresh our skin as well. I gotcha. Okay, yeah. so talk a little bit about what we have here on the table as well because you were telling me that these products are great for reducing redness. Correct. One thing that this time of year always requires, and I think every time of year, is a good cleanser. Okay. We want to make sure we cleanse. Did you know that you can also cleanse your brushes and your sponges with your facial cleanser? Okay, that's another thing that I am so guilty of, is I always forget about those. I forget yeah. that those go on my face every single day. I should be cleaning my brushes and my sponges probably almost as regularly as I wash my face, right? Absolutely, absolutely, because it also can have bacteria. And these good cleansers, of course, Arizona Facial Plastics Cleanser, is antimicrobial, so it's antibiotic, and also that stuff that causes clogging and redness to our skin as well. Gotcha. We even have an exfoliator that is, this exfoliation here um, actually not only exfoliates and is a scrub, but it also you leave it on for hydrating mask. So you actually leave it on for two to three minutes, it is a game changer. It's hydrofacial at home. <gasps> you do this and you actually get hydration and exfoliation together. As okay, well. done. Well, you've just given me the secret now that <laughs> I, I know exactly what to do. And what about these last two guys? So over here? it's sunblock, sunblock, sunblock. I'm going to go back to that because the Be Calm pads are a type of uh, toner pad that you always want to balance your skin after you cleanse it. And it actually will reduce reds for you. Okay. Then sunblocks. I don't think, you know, any time of year we're in Arizona, but also just understanding that feeding your skin the type of physical block that a sunblock does it allows for the consistency of the a rays that could age that age us not yeah. the b rays that burn or bronze so remember the oh. consistency of that keeps the bad stuff away helps us stay more youthful longer i love that i love a good sunscreen that sounds absolutely incredible but all of these products together really will do a number for your skin so tell everybody where they can find all of this information arizona facial plastics is where you can find that and of course we have some specials coming up even with co2 lasers and of course your favorite the hydrofacial oh my goodness get on that hydrofacial guys go to their website and check out their specials because that sounds fantastic the hydrofacials are the best shay thank you so much thank for being you. here today